Chabel, Lochan, greetings to all. I'm honored and humbled to be amongst many environmental defenders to receive this recognition. I would like to thank the Goldman Environmental Foundation for sharing stories of courage and inspiration today and over the past 29 years. It is through these gestures that we all contribute to the well-being of our planet. At Life Africa, Hendrik Buell Stiften, Vladimir Sliviak, Tristan Taylor, and my family, this award is a recognition of our collective efforts. I could not have done it alone. Together with my comrade and sister, Liz McDade, as concerned citizens, we stood up against the unlawful, unconstitutional exercise of power by our government. And in the public interest, we turned to the courts to protect our rights and that of Mother Earth. And we are vindicated. Nuclear energy will not eradicate energy poverty in Africa or elsewhere. It is costly, it takes too long to deliver, and it's dangerous. Remember the Chernobyl disaster, Three Miles Island and Fukushima? Do you? <laughs> Nuclear energy is a receipt for disaster and centuries of cancerous radioactive waste that will lead to the extension of life on Earth. I stand here today to call upon those corporations embedded in nuclear energy to abandon that technology and rapidly move to electricity generation technologies that will contribute towards mitigating energy and climate change. In pursuit of energy democracy and justice towards, towards a more sustainable development and protection of our environment, we have an obligation not to nuke our climate. We also have an obligation to hold our governments accountable to ensure that environmental degradation does not take place under our watch. Let us stand up, let us rise. Tobel. Good evening. I stand here overwhelmed and not sure whether I'm dreaming or not. As someone who was part of the struggle against apartheid, who has shaken the hand of Tata Nelson Mandela and stood up against the international nuclear lobby, I think standing up in front of you all is a little bit scary. <laughs> Although it is me that you see before you, I believe this award is recognition for all the organizations, including my own SAFSI, and volunteers who have taken time out of their busy lives to be part of this campaign, and all those comrades, friends, colleagues, and family who worked with us late into the night to reverse this nuclear deal. And this obviously includes my comrade Makoma next to me. We all need clean air, clean water in order to live, and we all need productive land to feed ourselves. Nuclear energy requires uranium, to feed the reactors and leaves behind toxic lands. All over Africa, greedy companies, some from the US, that care for nothing but profit are trying to get mining rights and sell fuel to a nuclear power plant that we don't need. And along the way, they break the laws of the countries and corrupt the government processes. Nuclear arose out of a place of war we don't need nuclear energy to power a peaceful future.
By stopping the nuclear deal in its tracks, we managed to stop not only the building of nuclear power plants, but also to stop the destruction of land in Africa and to play a part in stopping corruption. The hardest part of any struggle is the decision to first stand up. And every one of us carries that spirit of justice within us. Wake that spirit and stand up against those that destroy the environment, impoverishing our lives just to fill their own pockets. I salute, I salute all of those who strive to protect the planet. Those in the past, those that are with us in the present, and those that are still to come. Power to the people. Thank you.